A few months ago, I watched what had to be one of the wildest encounters I've ever seen. Uh, this is a vigilante predator hunter group that was busting the person they were investigating in public. And this goes completely insano style. This is, it becomes cartoonish. It's almost like a Benny Hill chase scene here. I couldn't believe what was unfolding in front of me. I am currently looking for my fiber. Your what? Fiber. Fiber? Yeah, because I gotta poop. You gotta poop? I'm constipated. I've been constipated. Yeah? Yeah. This is a very interesting tactic. This is a high level maneuver. He is claiming that he's not there at the meat spot for a 13 year old boy. He's there to get some fiber so he can take a shit. He's been constipated, so he's there for some poop pills. And it doesn't take some galaxy brain genius to put together the puzzle pieces here, connect the dots, and deduce that he is on meth. You know, he, he's getting loopy off that poopy right now. He is high on meth, which isn't just speculation. At the end of the video, they released their entire investigation screenshots of all the text messages that were exchanged between this guy and who he thought was a 13-year-old. And meth comes up a lot, even right before meeting, meth was discussed. And as you can see in the title, he was arrested and they did pretty much confirm meth was in his system. Hey man, I can involve the police or we can have a conversation. You want to have a conversation? Sure. You want to turn around and talk to me? I gotta find this first. Hey bro, I can call the cops right now? Or, or we I'm can just, or we can just really have a... we can just have a conversation. I'm actually really constipated. Sir, please, can you actually let me get my supplements so I can actually go home so I can poop? And actually, so I can poop well? Step one should have been involving the authorities the second you found a real pedophile that was trying to meet up for sex with a 13 year old and like get them smoking meth or, or whatever. It, like, I, I don't understand why that wasn't the first thing you did. Luckily, there's spoilers in the title so you know he does get arrested, but not for the reasons of this investigation. Some crazy shit happens towards the end. Had he involved law enforcement earlier, even from the start, I feel like this could have been far more effective. It seems like the first thing he did when he identified a real pedophile was try and figure out how to monetize it and make a viral video out of it or something. Because he gets like two different cameras out. He's got like the fucking steady cam. I, he's got so many cameras set up. He's got like the GTA cinematic angle going on here. So it really feels like the number one concern was trying to figure out a way to monetize it. He also has like calls to action in the video to subscribe to his channel. He's got the people vs. Pred watermark. This shit is branded out of the wazoo. So it does really feel like the number one thing he was looking for here was a way of making money off of the bust, which is kind of weird. It is still good that this does lead to an arrest, but I really do wish it was handled with collaboration from the actual authorities. Can you help me find do you want fiber call, pills? Do you Can you help me, me call, help me find fiber pills Do you want me, me to call the cops? Why would you want to call the cops for me when I'm trying to find my fiber pills? I know pills? why you're here. Why am I to here? To meet my 13 year old little brother. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Who is that? I have no clue! Christ, where are they hiding the fiber pills in this bitch? Like, goodness gracious, are they underground? This man's out here trying to locate fiber pills and it's like trying to find pirates buried treasure, apparently. Uh, but anyway, you can see he's really starting to tweak quite a, quite a bit now. Uh, things are getting escalated. The, the man filming is threatening to call the cops, which is something I feel he should have done quite a long time ago. But, we're only just beginning. Hey buddy, is this you? Can you please? Why do I let have a pic why do I have a picture of you? Is this Why you? are you doing this to me? Is this you? Is this a picture of you? Why do I have a picture of you? How is this? What is it? Why do I have a picture of you? Oh my god, that's disgusting. Why do I have a picture? Why do I have a picture of your ass? Ew, 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 ew. This guy's here to meet a 13-year-old boy for s and to give him crystal meth! Oh my god! Negotiations crumble, diplomacy falls, and then things really pop the fuck off. So he shows him that he has a picture of this guy's asshole and then we enter like the DPS check of the raid boss encounter here. So now he's chasing the pedophile around while shouting, he's here to meet a 13 year old boy for sex. The predator starts shouting, everyone in the shopping center is confused and maybe even a little frightened from this sudden explosion of yelling and all of that. And we also get close-ups of the meth molester's head, and it seems like he has a lot of dandruff. Not that that has anything to do with anything at all, it just struck me as, wow, that's a lot of dandruff. 
So he might want to pick up a bottle of Head and Shoulders on his way back to the poopy pill aisle. What this guy right here is here to meet a 13-year-old boy and to give him Please crystal sir. meth. Please okay, sir. what's happening? I'm trying Call to find cops. you. Do you know where the Call fiber the pills are? Call the cops. This guy's here to meet a 13-year-old like boy for sir, sir, Don't touch me. Sir, sir, sir don't touch me. Why? Stop. Don't touch me and don't put your hands in front of my camera, bro. Stop. Who the f*** are you? Stop. The cameraman here is really coming across like a combative asshole. Obviously, the store employee doesn't know the situation. He's not fucking omniscient. All he sees is two people screaming in his store while one of them has multiple cameras set up like he's out here trying to film a 360 degree music video. So he's just trying to get in the middle of this and like, hey, can you de-escalate it? You know, take it anywhere else. And, and for some reason, the Predator Buster is now starting to get mad at this guy who's just doing his fucking job. Like, he's done nothing wrong. He doesn't know what's happening here. He's just trying to de-escalate the situation. This guy's here to meet a 13-year-old boy for Get in front of my camera again, bro. Because you're not- Get in front of my camera again. You don't have permission to film your camera here. Who the f*** are you? This is the... Who are you? You need to leave. Hey, buddy. Get the f*** out of my way. Get the f*** out of my way. Sir, you gotta leave my store. No, I don't. Okay. Call the cops. This guy seems like he was closer to fighting the store employee just doing his job than he was to fighting the actual pedophile that he was there to bust. This shit is crazy. Why is this happening? Why are you here to meet a 13 year old boy? Why would I do such a thing? Then leave, go home. Can you let me find my fiber pills? Oh, please? your fiber pills? Where's the fiber? Oh. Oh. Just when you thought it was starting to wrap itself up, this fucking guy goes back looking for fiber pills. He goes back to the fucking fiber pill aisle and, and, and keeps keeps the whole song and dance going. We're in act two now. It's, it is incomprehensible, the shit that is unfolding here. I can't believe that this actually is a real thing that happened and isn't some, like, staged, scripted fucking piece of... I don't know, fiction. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Why are you here to meet a 13 year old boy? Why are you here to harass me? Why are you here to meet a 13 year old boy? Are you trying to prevent me? No, I'm going to stop. Point two three five. focus. I'm a weirdo? Yeah. Why do I have a picture of his asshole if I'm a weirdo? Know, Why do I have a picture of his face? Look at it. Why do I have a picture of his face if I'm the weirdo? Some of the other people around him start calling him a weirdo, the guy filming to which he takes great offense. So he goes over to the prove that he's not weird. So he goes and says, if I'm a weirdo, why do I have a picture of his asshole? Checkmate. Regular old Saul Goodman over here defending himself. I can't be weird, I have a picture of his butthole right here. Look at this. He takes his phone around like it's show and tell. He passes it around saying, hey, look, I'm not weird. Look, this is his anus. I, I, I don't know what the strategy is there. He could have easily explained, I'm conducting an investigation, this guy was trying to meet up with my 13-year-old brother. That's a lot more easy to understand than like, hey, I'm not weird, this is this guy's ass. Like, I don't, I don't know what the thought process was. I think he was so lost and deep in fight mode that he was just trying to like get aggressive with everybody. Even just completely innocent people that didn't understand what was happening. Trying to meet up with Little kids no! I saw a comment that perfectly described how this part in the parking lot plays out. They said he's acting like he's the 13 year old boy running away from a pedophile. And that is so accurate. He's running around like hysterically screaming and just going absolutely ballistic. He runs in a circle and then even lays on the ground for a little bit, kind of wiggling around. Can I just go poop? Ah! Ah! Oh my god, it gets even better!
The pedophile is high on meth and operating a vehicle, and it goes about as you'd expect. He immediately peels out and fucking blasts himself, like, right over, like, a small little tree in some bushes. It, it really looked like it was about to take flight. That was some shit out of Need for Speed, honestly. Like, god damn. Oh my god! Whoa! Hit and run! Call the police! Call the police! Immediately after vaporizing a tree and destroying that, like, area of bushes, he peels out once again and manages to hit one of only two potential obstacles in the entire fucking parking lot. Someone else's car. He goes by and hits someone else's car. There is literally only two cars in this entire fucking parking lot. It, it is actually more impressive that he managed to hit something. Like, I can't even, I don't even fathom how he could have fucked up even worse. It's unbelievable. Just call the police, guys. I got the tags. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Call the cops, bro. I got the video. You don't need the video. Just call the cops. I always hate that fucking mentality. Hey, someone else call the police. I'm busy recording. No, 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 no. I'm recording, so someone else call the police to handle this. There's only a handful of situations where that makes any sense, and that's when there's already a large group there. Then having a video of the situation can be helpful to the overall thing. So you could have one person video while someone else is calling the authorities, but in this case, it was just him for the entire thing right up until the very end. He should have been the one to call the police, but didn't. And the uh, predator makes another inexplicable decision. Instead of leaving, he instead pulls up to the front of the store he just ran away screaming from and parks it. He just, he just drops that shit right in front of the store he just left and then gets out to try and run back into the store, which I don't understand at all. He's treating it like this was some kind of safe zone or something. And as he gets out of the car and tries to run back in the store, he gets tackled by a good Samaritan who had just seen the hit and run the, and everything that unfolded in the parking lot. So he gets tackled by that guy, and it's like a Goldberg spear. He, that is a great form textbook tackle. And then the cops do show up to arrest him. Come on, man. The cops go through his things. They find a pipe. They find a lot of stuff. Uh, they arrest him for the driving DUI. They don't seem super interested in the predator catcher's investigation and what he's talking about. They, they don't really pay too much attention to that. Instead, they arrest him for, of course, the way he was driving the vehicle. Now, I've mentioned this numerous times over the years. I'm not really a fan of vigilante predator hunters for the simple reason that nine times out of ten, the pedophiles that get caught in these operations don't face any real repercussions other than like a video being made about them but law enforcement can't use the investigations because they're less than professional, meaning the predator doesn't spend any time in the slammer, they don't go to jail, which allows them to continue preying on children in their communities. Now, I do think there are extenuating circumstances, like for example, EDP. EDP may have not gone to jail, but that video that was made about him by the, you know, fucking Gotham Knights of Predator Catchers did a great service to the whole community because it exposed him for abusing his platform, trying to meet up with children, and even if he didn't go to jail, it still took away his access to more potential victims. So overall, it was a positive thing, though ideal outcome would have been him also going to jail. In this case, the video we just watched, this predator probably would have never went to jail had he not operated the vehicle while high on meth and caused a massive commotion there and hitting multiple things. Had he not been driving that recklessly and high, he probably would have never seen any jail time for the investigation conducted by this channel. So, it's just one of those things where, yes, it is good to expose the predators, but I really wish it was handled in collaboration with law enforcement, so that way not only would they be exposed publicly, they would also face the jail time associated with the crime. But yeah, anyway, this video was wild, and I just kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit today. That's about it. See ya.